Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm back after not posting for a week, but yeah. I'm always trying to upload regularly, but there may be, you know, moments where I'm not gonna do it to be really honest. But yeah, I'm I'm trying. Today's video is about Baccarat Rouge 540 and Burberry Hair and Ariana Grande's Cloud perfume. I think pretty much everybody at this point knows, or everybody interested in perfume, I shall say that these perfumes are kind of, not dupes, but they are similar fragrances for sure, with each, you know, some of their own qualities. And I'll compare them, I'll tell you which one is my favorite. And I know that I'm very late to the party, but I recently got a sample of BR540. So I've decided, you know, I own Burberry Hair. I actually kind of impulsively bought that fragrance and i also know cloud so i just you know finally i wanted to do this video because it's literally probably the most famous popular niche fragrance that there is right so i feel like i have to make a video about it let's start with the notes real quick uh so vaquera rouge has almond saffron jasmine cedar ambergris woody notes and musk and this fragrance out of all of them definitely definitely smells the most niche smells the most expensive smells the most luxurious smells like a woman it doesn't smell like a girl you know it doesn't smell like your everyday kind of perfume it is special even though obviously now a lot of people know it but this is not something you would find everywhere for sure to me this fragrance is mostly woody sweet I do get the almondiness and I get the ambergris. Don't really get much florals. And I have heard a lot of people say that it reminds them of the dentist. So I will say that in the very initial spray, when I first sprayed this, I didn't get that. But after trying it a couple of times, I will say I have to agree. It does have something that will remind you of the dentist's office. Like, I know not everybody smells that, but I have to say, I do get it as well. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie with you, it's not something I necessarily find very pleasant, even though it's not offensive either. Like, it's not offensive, but it is just, yeah, I don't even, I'm to be honest, I'm not really sure what that note is that I'm smelling, but yeah it does have some kind of re resemblance to that kind of scent you get there yeah don't hate me for saying it i don't think this is a bad scent at all even though this is not at all a scent that i would normally gravitate to nevertheless i think it's a good scent it's interesting it's balanced it's definitely a powerhouse it lasts forever projects very very strong but i mean i think that you would expect for this kind of money honestly um it's very sugary, but it's also deep, it's woody, it's a bit spicy. It really does smell expensive, I have to say that. But it is nevertheless not my personal style. And also the, you know, the slight hint of the dentist's kind of office. Obviously, you know, it's not really a place I like to go to, I don't know about you. But um, yeah, so for me, you know, it's I'm kind of on the fence. It's I can see why people like it. I do think it's a good fragrance. It seems to have quality ingredients, you know, long lasting, interesting scent, smells luxurious, just not my kind of thing. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that. Okay, let's now get to Cloud by Ariana Grande. And this one definitely is quite similar. Maybe it's like 80-ish percent similar or so. So definitely not a dupe. And I think the vibe is actually quite different. So while, like, if you smell them next to each other, they are fairly similar, but they're definitely not identical. And the vibe I get from Cloud is really very different. It's like the more kind of mainstream, pleasant, likable version of Baccarat Rouge, basically. Uh, whereas Baccarat Rouge for me is more like amber, woodsy, bit spicy and i think it is pretty unisex even though maybe a little bit feminine leaning but it's pretty unisex to me this one to me the cloud is quite feminine 
in a traditional way, you know, it's a lot creamier, a lot creamier. I don't detect spices in this one. Let's just look at the notes from this one real quick. So they're listing here lavender, pear and bergamot, whipped cream, praline, coconut, vanilla orchid and musk and woody notes. And you definitely get that creaminess. Like that's the biggest difference, I would say. This is so, so creamy to me. Also extremely sweet, very sugary. They're equally as sweet, I would say. But the other one, I have to say, has a bit more depth, which gives it that maturity and that like, you know, luxury kind of feeling, that high quality kind of feeling. Whereas this one is more, I feel like this lacks a little bit something that balances that extreme sweetness. Um, I find this a little bit overpoweringly sweet without having any kind of counterpart, if that makes any sense. Um, I think it's also a really nice scent, just a little bit too sweet for me. And there are not really any edges here. This is quite smooth. You get a bit of coconutiness. Coconutiness. <laughs> um, yeah, it has a hint of that tropical feeling. But mostly it's just a very sweet, sugary, creamy kind of scent. It's a really pleasant one. It's, it's really, really pleasant. Also very strong, projects really well. I mean, for the price, this is amazing if you like that kind of DNA. I think this is definitely one a lot of people would really enjoy. And you're really getting a strong, long-lasting fragrance for little money. So yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. And then let's get to the last one, which is Burberry Her by Burberry, duh. Um, and I actually bought this, like I said, in the smallest size, the original Eau de Parfum, uh, kind of like impulsively because I just smelled it and I was like, yeah, this is kind of nice, you know. I don't really have a strawberry centered, you know, very fruity sweet perfume, so I decided I will buy it. And as you may know, this is the same perfumer that did Baccarat Rouge, so Francis Kirchner. So you would think maybe that they are quite similar. But in my opinion, they are not that similar at all. And they are definitely for very different people, very different vibes, different occasions. Let's read the notes first. It has strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, cherry, blackcurrant, mandarin orange, and lemon. Loads of fruits. Then we have violet and jasmine. And we have musk, vanilla, cashmerian, woody notes, oak moss, amber, and patchouli. And this one to me, while the other ones I don't think are either fruity or floral, this one is definitely the most fruity and floral to my nose, especially fruity, of course. So what I get the most with this fragrance is definitely a kind of artificial candy strawberry. Very, very strong, no doubt. Like immediately I see candy, candied strawberries. Very sweet, definitely not real ones. It's definitely the artificial ones, like the ones on top of cake or something. And it's also a little bit creamy, but not in the sense like it was with Cloud, where it's really kind of, you know, it has a lot of richness to it. This is more like maybe more milky, milkshake or something. It's not deep, rich. This is more sweet, but brighter, you know? Sweet, a bit creamy, but it's not heavy. It's just sugary, but it's not greasy, <laughs> like if you would imagine it, you know, in your head. I am also a bit on the fence on this one. I think it smells really good, even though, you know, it's an artificial strawberry cream scent. So also not something that I would ever think, oh, this is the type of thing I want as a perfume. But I do like it, you know, I do like the scent. But in my opinion, this is more maybe for younger women, for the younger generation. You could give this to, as a present to, you know, like a teenager or someone early 20s, maybe somebody who likes really sweet, fruity fragrances. I really like the scent, but I do find it sometimes a little bit juvenile. I find it very, very sweet. It's extremely sugary. Definitely this is the sweetest perfume that I own. I have to be really in the mood for it. I do enjoy it, but it's not the most elegant scent, if you ask me. It's more younger, playful, girly. But for me, it has just that little bit of freshness still left, and it has a bit of florals that I can detect as well, at least on my skin. On my skin, it, it's going fruity, and then later the florals come out more. And that's the kind of fragrance that I like, you know? That's why I find it 
a little bit more wearable than the other two just for myself it is nice it is nice so my overall conclusion is that if you want something that smells elegant luxurious elevated but very sweet but with you know like a depth a woodiness to it then check out Baccarat Rouge if you haven't yet and yeah it is obviously not the most cheapest but I think it's worth a try and with a dentist kind of vibe you may or may not get that it may or may not bother you you have to find that out for yourself then if you're looking for something that has a similar scent but it's a bit more maybe mainstream or a bit more likable for more people and it's also more creamy a bit coconutty also very sweet then i think check out cloud and if you want something that's more fruity and sweet and a little bit floral also very very sweet then check out burberry hair that's what my advice would be and i would definitely see baccarat rouge on adults like i mean you know over let's say 26 or so um and both cloud and burberry hair i think are could be worn well by teens or early 20s of course this is just a suggestion but you know just to give you some ideas i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you did and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and maybe i'll see you in the next video bye guys